lots of brackets busted yesterday. Coach, what do you think is the more surprising exit? Is it Arizona or Gonzaga? Yeah. I think it's Gonzaga. And Gonzaga, because if you look at this Gonzaga team right now, I mean, basically, Arkansas used the same blueprint that Baylor used a year ago. Get up and underneath them, push them out, pressure the basketball, create a little havoc, create turnovers. Basically, take out Andrew Nebert. I said the other day that Andrew Nebert is not the best player for Gonzaga, but he's the most important player for Gonzaga. Over the last 240 minutes that Gonzaga's played, he's played 236 of those minutes. Their ability to create turnovers, be first to the ball, win the 50-50 balls, and then their inability to defend the basketball. JT Note was not good. He was terrific. I know the 29 shots, but it was the aggressor. The aggressor goes to the spoils, and Arkansas was the aggressor. Gonzaga was on their heels the whole game, and it looked to me just like that Baylor game a year ago. They got dominated at the guard spot. They got taken out at the guard spot. Arkansas won that basketball game by being the aggressor. You're absolutely correct. And this is the one thing, Coach, and I could be wrong. Let me, let me open up by saying I recognize I could be wrong, and I apologize to Gonzaga for what I'm about to say if I am wrong because it's not like I get to watch them all the time. You know what I mean? So let, 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 me, let me throw that caveat <laughs> out there. I think the level of competition that you go up against as a conference matters, okay? We know Gonzaga is a big-time program. Mark Few is one of the best coaches in the nation. I'm throwing no shade on them whatsoever. But somehow, some way, on numerous occasions, they've come up short more often than not based on the expectations that their record would bring to the table. We've talked a lot about this kid, Chet Holmgren. I'm going to tell you, I don't blame him. I, I, you know, I, I'm sorry that his father doesn't get to videotape the, the NCAA <laughs> games, and I understand that. That was not a good thing that's probably what jinxed him as well but here's the thing you know when you watch him coach I can't blame him if he goes pro because he'll be a top three top four pick and we all know that but this guy is so frail thin he's so frail thin that I'd love to see him back in college another year this kid the art you know listen the, the, the offense goes through Drew, Drew Timmy he's the he's the star of this team right. Chet Holmgren wasn't the number one option Timmy is okay we understand he had a good game last day he had 25 points but in the end what it comes down to is that when Gonzaga lost you found yourself saying I'm not surprised this is what happens. They have an exceptional regular season, obviously, you know, tournament as well. And then after that, they get to the NCAA tournament with their record. Everybody's got them as a high seed. And then suddenly something goes awry. That's usually – and I understand they went to the national championship game. I get all of that before. But I'm just saying, you found yourself looking at them – and you said if somebody, if a rough rider comes up and goes against them, doesn't back down, takes it to them, it'll be a great game. They won't fold or anything like that. But somehow, some way, you just found yourself saying Gonzaga's not going to pull it out. You walked into the tournament believing that, and they lived up to a lot of people's expectations. Not everybody's I, I, expectations. I, 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 I kind of don't people. agree with that, though, Stephen. I, I don't okay. agree with that because they have more NCAA tournament wins in the last 10 years than anyone else in the country. I understand. Into multi, I'm multi, talking multi, national champion, coach. You know that. Yeah, I'm just I, talking national champion. I understand. Champion. To be a blues yeah. to blood, obviously, you right. got to win a national championship, and they haven't right. done that. That's but they've won outside of conference. They play that tough non-conference true. schedule preseason. Uh, you know, the question would be maybe during the course of their league season, are right. they tested to the point like you would be tested in the Big Ten, the SEC, the That's ACC, what I'm talking the about. Big 12? Maybe not. Chet Holmgren, like you say, I, I, I've been saying this forever. Drew Timmy is their best player at Gonzaga. Yes, Andrew Nobhart is their most important player. And obviously, Chet Holmgren is the player who has the greatest potential. Physically, yeah. he's not ready to play. His skill set is at a different level. He can protect the rim because of his length and his quickness and his athleticism. But in terms of the fight, in terms of the fight, he wasn't ready for the fight that Arkansas ready. gave him. I mean, he, he wasn't, wasn't ready. ready physically for the fight. Emotionally, mentally, he wanted to be competitive. But in terms of the fight, Arkansas took the game to Gonzaga, plain and simple. The game plan was real simple. Get up and under, pressure the ball, disrupt the rhythm of, of Gonzaga, mm -hmm. take them out of transition, get to right. the offensive glass, be the aggressor, make them react yeah. to us, whether it's driving downhill, whether it's getting to the offensive glass, whether it's defensively. Great game plan by the must bus. Uh, what Eric Musselman's been able to do is put these guys in position. They were bigger, stronger, more physical, mm -hmm. tougher. And they said, Drew Timmy, you're going to get your 25. Yeah. But Andrew Nebhard, we're taking you La out. And they last did. Point, last point mm -hmm. about this. Glad you brought up Eric Musselman. People forget this was an NBA coach. Yep. This guy knows basketball. He knows what he's doing. 
Eric Musselman's been around a long time. Yeah. And he knows a lot about the game. Yeah. And he would listen, the guy, no one ever watched his teams and said, this guy can't coach. We've mm-hmm. always known he coaches. It's just that the NBA personalities, sometimes you might not vibe with that. But in terms of knowing the game and knowing how to coach the game, Eric Musselman's been around for a long time, and we no all question. know that man knows the game of basketball and he can coach it. And no he did last day. night. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.